hello and welcome guys in this video we will be learning about transition table and discount factor as well as some of the mathematical terms that we will be learning in Bellman equation so before we jump into Bellman equation let's let's understand all the you know prerequisites so first of all is transition table okay so basically transition table or you can say transition model so determines the po uh, you know probability of moving from one state to another st another state after taking a particular action so for example in a game of chess the transition model would specify the probability of moving from one board position to another after making a particular move okay th and th that is what transition table is now you can see on the right side this particular table uh, we have state a and then state a b c so basically from state a to state b this is the probability from state a to state s state c this is the probability okay and this way you will be you know uh, you will have all the possible action and their probabilities okay so this way uh, like obviously I have shown you in the Python example for MDP and H HMM as well so and this is a ta tabular representation of that particular thing now let's come to discount factor so first of all the discount factor is you know represented using gamma as you can see in uh, this image okay so in reinforcement learning the discount factor is a parameter that determines the importance of future reward you know relative to immediate reward and it is denoted by symbol gamma or like you've seen here and takes value between 0 and 1 so basically when an agent you know receive a reward it may you know affect not only the immediate state action pair but also future rewards so that discount factor allow us to you know trade off the imp Im importance of uh, immediate reward and the future reward uh, and uh, a value of you know gamma closer to zero means the agent care more about uh, immediate reward whereas the value closer to one means the agent care more about long term reward okay so now uh, uh, s to summarize so basically the, dis uh, the discount factor is used in the calculation of expected return of you know an agent in a state uh, uh, which is you know total reward that the agent can expect to receive from the state onwards and the expected return is calculated as the sum of reward discounted by you know gamma raised to the power of the timestamp and this, that is what uh, I mean discount factor is now let's understand you know some of the mathematical terms that we will be using in our uh, you know further study as well as you know games uh, or you can say projects okay so first of all is you know policy okay so the policy you can see it is you know presented like this so this is pi and a by s where a is the action s is the state okay state uh, state value is represented like this v is the value s is the state and then q value is represented like this so q is the quality s is a state of given action okay so basically uh, this uh, mathematically two function are defined action function uh, or you can say state value function or action value function okay so let me rename it state value function uh, function and action value function okay now uh, let's understand the policy so the policy pi a by s is a mathematical function that specify the probability of taking action a in state s so it map each state of s to a uh, to a probability distribution over all possible action a okay now in the state value function that is vs so the state value function vs is a function that estimate the you know expected long term return or you can say cumulative reward starting from a given state s and following a specif specific policy pi and uh, you know it is expected sum of future reward discounted by the factor gamma uh, and uh, that the agent can expect or uh, expect to you know receive from that state now the action value function that is qsa uh, it is a function that estimate the expected long term return uh, also like cumulative reward uh, starting from given state as taking a specific action a and and then following a specific policy pi uh, it is a you know expected sum of future reward discounted by the factor that the agent can expect to receive from the state action pair 
uh, and the last one is expected value okay so the expected value is uh, I mean the E that you see here is the expected value is calculated by you, uh, you know taking a weight weighted average of all possible outcome where each outcome is weighted by its probability of occurring and you know the weight are determined the transition probabilities and the policy followed by the agent okay like I showed you in the you know table uh, yeah so that one okay now uh, so q q pi sa that is this one action value you know function represents the value of you know performing a particular action uh, a while in state s okay now b pi s that, that is this one represents the value of state s so this value is calculated you know by taking the average value of all you know uh, performing all the possible action from state s here you multiply the value corresponding to you know possible uh, you know <coughs> corresponding to you know performing an action a with the probability of performing that action when in state s that we have seen in uh, mdp right so so all those type of you know implementation uh, that you have seen previously we will now gonna learn the mathematical understanding and in the next few tutorials uh, there will be some mathematics that y you need to know uh, before we you know we jump into algorithm part and yeah that's all for this video next in next video we will be, we will be learning about Bellman equation where uh, in which a whole reinforcement learning is based on okay so thank you and bye bye